good afternoon Moringa Mutual followers, YouTube viewers um, and all you aquaponics fans um, out there on the uh, World Wide Web. This is just a, a video update uh, on the uh, Moringa Mutual pilot aquaponics scheme. Um, if you haven't already watched the previous video, um, we just really explained how uh, the Moringa Mutual is actually running uh, pilot trials. Um, really just uh, exploring the uh, the whole subject of being able to grow moringa and other foods um, within an aquaponics uh, situation um, setup. Um, basically what aquaponics is, is the actual cultivation of plants um, within a closed loop system um, using uh, fish um, and uh, you know, some sort of media like this. I mean this is uh, a mixture between hydrotin, which you can see here, um, which is essentially uh, clay pellets. Um, and some other kind of like small stones and, and pea uh, pebbles and things like that. Um, and um, essentially what happens is we have a, a fish tank which is also incorporated into the whole system which is uh, cycles round. So essentially what you can see here is a 210 litre barrel um, and uh, that's filled with water uh, and this is where you know, the fish would go. Um, and um, essentially what happens is the water overflows from this overflow pipe you can see on the side here uh, and round down this uh, PVC piping here um, and then drains onto the beds okay which uh, essentially the beds are again are uh, 200 litre barrels cut in half um, and then what we do is uh, the water fills up these beds as it drains in as you can see this one's made of pretty much like all hydrogen um, it fills up um, and then drains again once it reaches the top uh, about two inches from the top um, so what we're actually looking at here is a flood and drain system uh, whereby the water is coming into the beds it's filling them up um, bringing the nutrients up to the roots of the plants and then what happens is when it gets to a certain level it drains um, completely um, and then begins the cycle again. As you can see here um, we've got what's called a bell siphon um, which again is a bit bit of PVC um, with some holes drilled in the bottom and um, we've got a standpipe there and now when the water level fills to the level of the standpipe um, it starts to drain down. Now because we've got this cap over the top very quickly what happens is you get a suction uh, builds up because obviously the air can't escape and um, what happens is all the, the water in, from the actual half barrel gets siphoned out and down to the bottom here um, which is um, our sump tank um, and now this is where all the, the water drains out of the beds and is then pumped back using us via a sump which is a, a, well, a submergible pump which you can probably see there up this piece of uh, PVC piping here and back up into our uh, into our tank with the fish. Um, what we've also got here in the tank we've also got a filter um, which is air which is putting air oxygen into the water and also filtering uh, out um, any things we don't need. Um, and also what that does is we have uh, beneficial bacteria growing inside that filter so what happens is essentially is the fish uh, waste actually um, which is like ammonia um, actually gets drained into the beds and then beneficial bacteria turn that ammonia into uh, nitrites and uh, that's an excellent food source for our plants um, so yeah, so really what we're doing is we're doing a bit of an update here, just letting, showing you how we're getting on. Obviously we've got some corn here which is growing up quite a bit since our last video. Um, our melons are also growing quite a bit. Quite a lot of lettuce here which is really thriving. Now this is a very young system so um, as you can see we've got some yellowing of the, uh, this is our kale. So the yellowing off of the edge of the 
leaves that you can see here uh, is actually indicative of a iron deficiency. Um, and obviously, if left unchecked, um, you're going to get a situation where your plants actually start to wither and die. Look at this one here. Um, so, you know, this is all part of the learning curve, really, is that obviously this is a young system and it hasn't fully cycled and uh, and actually matured so it can take six months or more for an aquaponic system to become mature um, to the point where it can actually sustain all sorts of different types of uh, vegetation um, in a way whereby you're getting you know enough nutrients um, to actually have good quality uh, veg vegetables and, and plants so you know as you can see, look, I've got quite a lot here that are actually looking like pretty bedraggled and not very happy at all. Now this is even more worrying considering if you look at our moringa here, that we're actually, it's actually the subject of the pilot. Um, again, look how yellow the leaves are. I mean, some of them seem to be okay. We've got some green leaves here. We've got some that are green. This one's kind of slightly mottled, if you can see that. Again here, look, they're yellow, and then we've even got some that are dying off. Okay, so obviously we don't want to leave things like this. Obviously we need to do, there is something you can do. Um, so what we've actually uh, done is, after a bit of research, um, we've discovered that there are some really good products on the shelf uh, that, you can actually, that are actually available, which you can actually buy. This one's uh, called Ferion, and uh, this is a first one that I'm actually trying. Um, it's concentrated iron supplement uh, and um, it's chelated iron essentially here. Um, so what I've done is I've added uh, a, um, a capful. Now it says add a capful of this uh, to the water for every 50 US gallons. Now that's about uh, 200 litres. Okay so as you can see with this uh, barrel here, this is like a 210 litre barrel. So I, I added a cap load. Um, now I've added a cap full today. Um, and so I'm just going to monitor the system and we're going to see how we get on. I've also added uh, the equivalent amount to uh, this system, uh, which is smaller, this is a 75 litre system. So I've added about a third of a cap load. Um, so I expect that that will be about right. Um, now this is uh, actually meant for marine fish and marine plants, um, but I have uh, kind of discovered that this is what people are using um, for aquaponics, and this is just one of the options that you can use. So again, you know, uh, deficiencies and things like that in aquaponic in young aquaponic systems are very common. So it's very unusual that you're going to be able to start your aquaponic system um, and then you know it's going to be working straight away. Um, and your plants are going to be flourishing and growing, you know, bushy and, uh, and thriving because essentially it does take time to actually build up those nitrite levels and other nutrients. Um, so, so, yeah, that's, where I'm, that's how we're getting on. Um, that's obviously one thing that we're actually discovering now is that we're going to have to look at the nutrients um, and see and make sure that we can actually, you know, do things which are actually going to improve um, and actually medicate the system, um, so to speak, so that um, we can continue to um, move forward in the pilot um, and find you know suitable ways um, to actually uh, grow the moringa. Now, this is really probably quite interesting for people who are growing the moringa in the UK um, in greenhouses and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to be doing some normal soil growth techniques, but obviously when we're going to be growing uh, Moringa in situations where there isn't enough water to actually keep watering the ground, um, we're going to be looking at kind of uh, internal systems with polytunnels, um, with uh, closed loop systems whereby you, know, you add the water to the system and then it just cycles around as opposed to um, keep uh, watering um, you know your plants you know in beds or uh, in the ground and then that's just soaking in to the ground and evaporating it, you know, in traditional farming methods you use a hell of a lot more water than you do in aquaponics so 
this is why we feel it is ideally suited to situations where we don't have much water available um, and obviously for the pumps uh, and uh, things we can actually we are going to be incorporated a full solar uh, powered um, system so that obviously the whole thing will be self-sufficient whereby you're not pulling anything off the grid um, especially in in countries where there's a lot of sunlight not much water um, and obviously availability of electricity and, and uh, the national grid is you know, less prevalent and it can be problematic so you can see the moringa here yeah it's in parts it's doing okay um, but in other parts you can see that yeah we're getting discoloration of our leaves spots on our leaves um, some of the leaves are actually dying off um, and some of them are going very yellow so we've added the ferion um, which is our cleated iron and uh, supplement and uh, we'll um, continue to monitor and uh, let you know how we get on Bye for now, thanks for watching.